Merry Christmas guys, we are actually in Tampa. I don't really come out here that often. While we're out here, there's a really cool shop that I wanna check out, but on the way, I had to stop and take advantage of the fact that there's Pump 85 everywhere here in Tampa. So I'm filling up the Mustang with some Pump 85. How sick is that? It's a great way to start the day. She likes the 85. Yes, she does. Today's so gonna be Turn a good left. day. I'm excited for today. So, if you don't remember me mentioning it, uh, my mom actually moved out to the Tampa side of town. So I was out here for Christmas and Christmas Eve. And while I'm out here, I thought I'd have some fun, like I said, and we'll go visit that shop. That I've been so excited to go see. You guys might already know what it is because I probably put it in the title knowing me. All right, we're pulling up. Let's let them know that we're here. It's the only way that we can greet them. Hello? What are you doing down there? Hell, get that Mustang out of here, boy. Please? All right, all right, you're good. <laughs> oh, hell, I didn't know you were bringing Mountain Dew. Yeah, dude. Well done. I was gonna, I was gonna make some sort of nitrous joke. Be like, dude, I brought you a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> we don't normally let Fords on the property. We have one here, and it's extremely unreliable. Yeah. I guess we'll make an exception for you. We're gonna blow this thing up today. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude, yeah. You want, you want to tune it? <laughs> yeah, dude, I'll, I'll give it a shot. All right. Got the bottle next to the dyno. Ready yeah, man. So. Let's do it. It's been how long? Probably like two years and I've never come out here. I know, he's never been to my shop. Do you guys believe that? Yeah. Well, I mean, we're, we're both in the same state. We're I not guess, really that yeah. far, but we're just so busy. And it's, it's weird because we're only like two hours, yeah. but it's just far enough that like we never are able to make the trip unless there's something big going on. And I'm always over here because I'm always getting my car tuned out here. You're always in Orlando for Orlando Speed World, but we're both always so busy. I know. Works but out good though. We're today, hanging out. Empty day. Holiday season, so no. we're making time for each other. Yeah, <laughs> nothing but fun stuff today. Yep. Yep. So we're gonna take that to lunch. I'm gonna let you drive it so you can see what the Corvette life is like, and then on the dyno. So this car, I've been told, made 500 wheel on pump gas and should make somewhere around 550 and 85. What? 500 wheel on pump gas? That's pretty good, right? Yeah. I mean, we'll see if, if that holds true. It should make 550 on E85. That's what I've heard. I mean, unless you're high in nitrous or a supercharger, I mean, we'll see. <laughs> Is it, do 550? You, yeah, that's what it's supposed to make. Holy crap. Yeah. Flywheel or at the time? No, like wheel. It, well, it made 500 wheel on pump, and then I heard it should pick up about an extra 50 on E. Sweet honey barbecue. <laughs> okay, we'll try it. Yeah. I'm down to rip it. I'll make sure I floor it. I mean, watch it make like 450 and all this time. I'm like, I mean, I would, <laughs> that's amazing. Five, we'll yeah, see. I mean, I've heard they, I drove it, it was fast. Yeah. So, we'll see. That E85? Give her a little gas. <laughs> <laughs> you know the struggle. Yeah. You know it all too well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's got a bunch of E85. Oh, wow, look at this. You got a fancy little cluster in here. It oh, it only revs to 6,500. Yeah. What kind of garbage is this? <laughs> Don't be talking shit. <laughs> I'm <dog>. just playing. <laughs> so what are you shifting all the time or what? Well, when you shift as fast as me, you don't know how to worry. You know what I'm saying? Rev match? What is that? Well, so when you downshift, they rev match is RPM. How how do you have paddles if it's standard? Those are to turn it on and off. Oh. I'll show you. What? <laughs> Your car doesn't rev match? No, I do it all myself. Well, I know, but it has the capability. Oh, well, nope. I'll show you. Uh, people, people are always like, oh, you rev match every downshift, or is that is that auto? I'm like, no, I'm just that good. Yeah, yeah, you're just that good. That thing's actually really easy. Good. It's really easy to rev match, though, because it, it revs so nicely. Give it, get a little feel for it. Give her a little flip. It's cold, dude. I just drove it here an hour. All right, so quick, quick, knows. quick, quick specs. Because in case right. people on my channel don't know anything about F1A, this. F1A, Pro Charger, 840 horsepower, uh, runs on Bald Eagles and Mountain Dew, and stock bottom end. The engine's completely untouched, it just has a Pro Charger. So, I didn't really think about it, but this is the fastest car I've ever driven. Like, 
feel, by far. It's gonna feel really fast. Because I mean, my S15 technically makes 900. Put your foot on the brake. Because this is your e-brake in this car. So you gotcha. Set down, and then I'm gonna turn this. The traction control will just like work even if it's hooking. Uh -huh. so I'm gonna turn it off just because I know you're not a shitty driver. Yeah. So the S15 technically makes 900, but I've been driving around 850, and that car yeah. has no traction compared to this. Yeah. So oh, and this, another thing to note: if you're used to turbo cars. This car is all top end charge, so sick. It's not gonna make a bunch of torque. It's all top end, like so. You know, you're gonna hit the rev limiter. It's, it's fine though. I hit it all the time. I can't tell if I'm like sitting too far back or not. Isn't that seat really low? Yeah. Can I just wheel it all? Yeah. It's on the left side, there's a little knob. You can do a swift first gear pull right here too. Already? Just to feel it out. I mean, all right. Come on. That sounds cool. Yeah, it's like it sounds like a little vacuum cleaner in there. It huh? is. It's like a Dyson. My dad calls it the Dyson. I feel how it doesn't make much torque. Like, yeah. But that's why it works so good on the street. Yeah. It's different. Go first without rev matching. Dang, dude. <laughs> you don't even need to know how to drive anymore in these streets, huh? Oh, I got some pretty clean rev matches if you want to see. Oh, it didn't rev match. Oh, do you have to hit it every time? Turned, no, I just oh. turned it off. It's off now. We just going straight? Yeah. Should I get on it? Yeah, you can do second gear and just rev it all the way out. <laughs> it's weird. It like... It's all top end. It doesn't feel, feel like I'm going to die. Like it was almost not rowdy enough. Oh, you need more. Like 900 wheel, is that, was that full boost? I did, I mean, that's full rip, wow. Maybe I didn't rev it out all the way. Which way, left? I mean, you didn't hit the limit. Which way? The left. Well, dude, you're not gonna feel like. Well, what, what I'm saying is, because it, it's so well set up, I'm so used to driving cars that are so overpowered for the chassis, you know? It spins the tires and stuff. Dude, this thing will dead hook all the time. And because it doesn't make torque, like it just doesn't feel that fast. Oh, I know, this I know thing, what you mean though. This thing hangs with cars that it never should. Like when we're, if we're out racing, like it'll hang with 900 to 1,000 horsepower cars easily. Really? Like, I don't know why, it just loves it. I think it's just, it's so smooth that it was just kind of just like. It's so smooth. Mm -hmm. Everyone on my channel see me like race this car a bunch of times with <laughs> different eight, 900 horsepower cars and it always just walks. I don't know why, it's just always been one of the best street setups I've ever had. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Hi. It's so smooth, it like throws you off. It's so smooth. That's what I love about it, dude. It's like the perfect commuter car. We just going straight? Yeah, go straight. Also, you can power shift the whole life out of it. What's that noise? Is that a supercharger? That's a blower, yeah. Dude, it's centrifugal, it's all up top. And you feel no torque. Woo! Alright, that felt pretty fast. I love it. <laughs> Driving it just like I would. Just yeah. Like here on the way to work is my that's my ritual. <laughs> really? So this is not just me? No. So it feels way faster with the windows down. <laughs> this thing went flying. Oh, yeah. I think it's because oh, you can really hear all the bald eagles. Oh, dude, I dude, forgot. I'm telling you, it's the most unsuspecting car. It feels slow. It's like I'm sitting over here, and it feels slow. Really? It's just how it is. I'm. It's a really sick car. I'm not trying to like. I mean, you're definitely. Back I'm not on. trying to hate, dude. We're gonna have beef after. We're getting on here, right? Yeah. Where are we going? Right. You gotta wave at the Corvette owner. Back. The yeah. Corvette salute, brother! <laughs> you like that? I love it. That was amazing. <laughs> that was, I mean, you're fully immersed in the culture right now. That you? That, that was me. That was you? Uh, probably the methanol hit too hard. Yeah? Yeah. Alright. You scare me with this thing now? Guess I got something to prove now. <laughs> So this thing's not fast enough, so let me see what I can do. Should I go in it first just for the effect? Sure. Okay, so 
so it wasn't just me. There's something weird going on, right? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Here yeah, I was like, Ugh. yeah, I was like hesitating. Oh, what the hell, dude? You might have broke it. No, 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 no. I did not break it. It was like that the whole time. I hear my other fuel pump. I don't know why I have to do that. <laughs> yeah, I'm scared. This is crazy because this car <laughs> runs mint. So you're talking about it all the time. You're like, I'll be stoked if you break this car. I didn't do anything wrong. No, you didn't. Okay. I mean, you literally did a pull. I did pulls on the way here. Yeah. What the hell? Okay, that makes me feel better. Like, it felt like there was something missing, right? ride until next time. Well, <laughs> we're going to have to do a rain check on the old... Oh, we can go go-karting right now. What? There's a go-karting track right there. <laughs> Want to get the sauce? It's probably your home track, huh? Pretty much. <laughs> I mean, maybe later. Uh, because then you'd beat me and I'd be like, shit. <laughs> hey. Hi, buddy. I stole Adam's camera just so I could get a video of you for his channel. Yeah. So pretty. I'll have to get Cletus to do a quick like little walk around of the shop after we get the car on the dyno because this place is rad. You a pro at this or what? <laughs> the setup with the four post is so cool. You can handle her, dude. Brother, I'm gonna try. We gotta we gotta break the 550, on, brother. Up. I got bald eagles. What is, what are these? There's some, some... I guess snakes, right? <laughs> I, oh yeah, <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can make these snakes fly. bad still expected to be a little bit higher that's a nice looking curve so this this was my prediction I thought it was a little bit richer so my thing is there's actually a factory O2 gauge that's like built in the computer but yep. what I realized is it's calculated it doesn't actually read from the O2 sensor oh. so when it's on E85 it tells me that I'm running like a 10 AFR because it knows that it's dumping so much fuel but it yeah. doesn't know that it's E85 so like okay if you look right here that 11 7 right so that's for an NA car, that's that's a lot of fuel as is. Like you can run in the 12s on E85, especially. And then you'll see down here, we're dipping into like the mid 10s range, mid 10 to one on the air fuel. So it's got a lot of fuel, but we have the equalizer here at the shop that we like to use on the dyno, 100% guaranteed every time to make more power. And I bet you it'll bring that air fuel just right here down the middle. You trying to blow up my car, dude? <laughs> I think that's what no, he's trying to do. To, but I'd be glad to lightly graze it for you. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it. I say we just lightly shoot it. Just light, like the smallest 50 shot. Just right at the top. Sure. Okay. Well, as long as you give me approval. Yeah. I'm here to make it happen, brother. Yeah, man. <laughs> so we need someone to film, because you're going to have to drive. Okay. We can have your brother film. Yeah, my brother. Yeah. I will get him. I was curious about the numbers, because the fact that the, the car made 500 before, and Cletus has a friend that actually works for Lund just to like <laughs> check everything. What did he say about the power that the car made He's, first? Okay, he says most average 490 with these mods in E85. So we're actually higher. He said 504 is about perfect. And they're strongly suggesting we don't get a fog the intake. Why? <laughs> He's saying that we're taking the, the air fuel measurement from, you know, the very end of the exhaust. Might be a little different, might be a little off. Strongly suggesting not to spray. I normally don't hang out with people who tell me not to spray stuff. So. 
<laughs> but this guy, Alex Flores from uh, Lund, he's pretty smart. So I think we should probably listen to him. Being that this is a very... can he can he lean it out a little bit for us? I don't think he can today. Oh, because it's holiday season. Oh, <laughs> he's saying that it's probably very close to where it needs to be. Really? Yeah, he's saying that to keep it happy, you might as well leave it over. It's just, it's one of those things, you know when a car like works too well and doesn't have any issues and you want to push a little more out of it? <laughs> exactly, that's yeah. how I feel right now. I know, it's too simple. Like, we I put know. a car on the dyno, it works. We don't have a boost controller, we have nothing. All we have no. is this bottle of nitrous, and I want to use it. But I think we just need to be smart. For the Dude, two that, people that's who so break lame. them. That's so <laughs> Dude, we're the only people, we break everything. Literally every car we have is broken. Yeah. Wait, how many do you have left after this? I mean, they're, they're out, they're all broken in their own way. So you're going to have to walk home if we do this. I mean, Orlando's a long walk. Yeah. We could just get another car. <laughs> I got the RV. We could just yeah, honestly, rock that for a little push bit. Push her in the trailer. I don't know, man. This thing works too well. I'm we'll trying do, to break we'll it. Get one more and see if we can get... I mean, maybe it'll make 508 or something. Or we could turn the, the smoothing off and spike them up a little bit. <laughs> Alright, guys. So, Adam's going to do a pull because he doesn't think I had it floored all the way. <laughs> well, I got to turn the brake off. There you go. <laughs> Sure. All right, Adam's doing a pull, and he's gonna floor it all the way. I put that clip in to be stolen. Yeah, you have to. He thinks me as a Chevy guy. I was trying to sabotage his numbers. There you go. I close your door. Here, pull your pull the cord in. Fourth gear, buddy. I'll tell you when to hit it. She's cold now. Did you floor it? I'm scared. <laughs> no. It's alright. It sat for a while. Oil got cold, probably. God dang. Mustangs. Dude, that's sick power, though, for NA. Almost 500 horse. So, AFRs were. Yeah, about like 12. That's it. Yeah, like that's what, what you're saying. What one said was the, the sniffer and the exhaust would read way different than actually on the N gauge, and the N gauge was reading right around 11, 9, 12, 0. Sweet. So it seems like we're spot on. Dude, 91% E2, so it's about as good as you can get it. Why isn't it making 550, dog? It's just, dude, this is where they said it should be. I think you just read some internet numbers that were a little I boosted. Like go back to a I different like dyno. Let's go rip it. Let's go rip it. All right. What a ripper. Does it shoot fire? She sounds nasty. Let's go drive it. Dude, quit being so no, no, depressing. I, it's, it's the first time like after dyno where we're gonna go drive it and the car's the same. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we literally did nothing. We just dynoed it for fun. There you have it, folks. Oh, did it measure torque that time? Uh, no, dude, I didn't. Hold on, let me, I never turned it on. So we did have torque on, I just didn't have the filter on for it. So now we can see torque-wise on the 504 pull, it made 420. Blazing. Blazing, what the hell? <laughs> so, one more pull just to do it. Is it, is it like, is it a myth or is it true? The whole like putting the Mountain Dew to thin the oil out thing. Like, oh, it's totally power. true. Yeah, I, you saw, want me I to, saw one of those YouTube videos. Will, will my Mustang run on Mountain Dew? Yeah, do you want me to put a couple cans in? What, uh, what's the alcohol percentage here? In Mountain Dew? Yeah. Probably 98. Send it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll shut the camera off and add some real quick and we'll be good. All right, guys, we're back. The Mountain Dew's added. Oh, she's excited. Don't take off yet. Don't take off yet. <laughs> Hold on there, sir. Here. Where's the cursor? Wow. 
Are you already in fourth? No. Okay. Thought you went one to four. Third gear. Results are in. You made a whopping 503. Damn. 503. I just want to do another pull just to see if it keeps going. You want to keep going? All right. Let's go. I'm going to chill for a second. Hit it while it's hot. Let's see if she likes the abuse. Because every time on the second pull, it's made a lot more. That's not how fast it pulls on the road, is it? Should be. Really? Should be similar. I mean, the roller could. Be a little bit different. Dude, roll it. Let's go. The cool attempt's not like stupid, is it? Alright, let her eat. Did go higher. The limiter was like, dun, dun. the other time it's all been different. <laughs> Hold on, what do we make? 502. That's crazy, a one horsepower drop on a back to back to back pull. Dang, NA life. That's pretty good, man. That's awesome. It's like only one other vehicle in the shop I've seen make 500 NA on this dyno. Yeah. That's the Dale truck. Oh, and that, the Miata. It's a lot of fun. Good job. That's weird that it's like, why didn't it rev higher before? I don't know, maybe it's just <coughs> happier on that one. Have you ever driven a car on a dyno? Yeah. Nice. Okay. Yeah, my uh, Skyline is a bunch of dyno. It just, uh, I don't know. The rev limiter was totally different on that one. Let's see how much higher it went. It uh, went a little bit higher in the RPM too. Uh, the last yeah. So one of the biggest advantages of E85 on these cars is picking up a lot of mid-range. So a good indicator that if you look at around 5500 RPM, we're 400 wheel right on the dot. This is the dynograph that Matt sent me. Um, and then when you look up here, at the same RPM, we are right around 424. So, and getting that, this dyno probably read a lot lower than or sorry, and given that this dyno probably read a lot higher, seeing as the car made 500 wheel on pump on this dyno, that's probably more than 24 wheel difference yeah. at that RPM. It just looks like it makes a lot more mid-range. Yeah, I mean, when you can, well, I guess the scaling isn't the same, it's, so it's yeah, hard to... Yeah, it's really hard to tell. That's why I just, I chose a number and just looked at that as an indicator. Yeah. Well, it's quiet. You got anything in the shop you want to show me real quick? I quick, show you quick walk around for my subs? Tour. Yeah. So, I have a graveyard going over here. This is like, here, let's give you the full tour. This is my lift over here. My special tall person lift. This thing goes seven feet high from me to my tall height. Got the crown big, Jeremy's Miata, and then over here we have like Jeremy's dad's car, and then we've got customer's ATSV, the Caprice, which has a blower on it. And then I'll show you over here we got, you know, parts washer, we got our, our little waiting room. Look at that. That's where we eat lunch and stuff. Yeah. Pretty neat. For anyone that's not familiar with Leroy, give me the claim to fame right now. So this is the world's fastest stick shift GM car ever. It's first in the sevens and it's stick shift. Basically, that's its claim to fame is that him and I are pretty quick together with a stick. Thanks about, um, on a good day, 14 or 1500 horsepower. And it runs purely on bald eagles and Mountain Dew. This one actually, uh, we're about to pull the motor on and send out for a refresh before the season. So I was gonna do that tomorrow. Cool. And I'll show you Holly, the dog. She runs pretty much everything around here. Holly. She manages the business. Up there we have like an office. Oh, is this the merch? This is all the merch. It's kind of a mess because of the holiday, you know. Oh, I feel you. This is Holly, Holly, come here. Hi, Holly. She likes to stretch and take naps in here. <laughs> <laughs> I dig these floors. 
I kind of wish we weren't too lazy to do them to ours. Yeah, you're good. Just pull up a little more. Oh, sh a burnout on my lift. <laughs> yeah, you're good. Go ahead. Oh, hold on. Stop. Hey, shut it off real quick. There's a there's at least two quarts of oil back there. You're joking. <laughs> I was just under there. <laughs> I only like to come off the dyno when there's oil on the ground. Yeah. You're good, brother. Keep ripping until she's dripping. Oh, really? Oh, I like that. That's a t shirt right there. <laughs> Keep ripping until she's dripping. Oh, 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 almost stalled it. Don't do a burnout on my floors. <laughs> I'm going to stab you. <laughs> I I, you just that. gave me the I'm about to do a burnout look, and I was like, Yeah, that's number two. You do put me on the spot, dude. <laughs> dude, you're pretty flustered from that. There you go, Dale. Somebody was burning my clutch up on the drag strip. I made one pass. <laughs> There you go. Bonus. Sure. Ready. The weirdest thing about this is no one ever is willing to rev it to red line because it feels so unnatural. She's fun to beat on, right? Hey, how you doing? I fully encourage her. I'm like, you won't have fun unless you beat the crap out of it. She's fun to beat on. Yeah. I feel like she just loves it. Too. Yeah, dude. Just got to beat on her. No, no, you said rip her. No, rip it till she's dripping. Rip it. Uh, what you said. Keep ripping till she's dripping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Sorry. Me and Cletus are just like super thrown off right now because. It's like the first time we've ever hung out and not been in a crazy rush. And for me, I'm always in a rush. He's always in a rush. So today, just kind of hanging out and just like not really having to do anything is just really, really odd. So if you notice, he's got his helmet in here. We're about to go rip some go-karts down the street. I'm not gonna film it though. I'm not ever really hyped on go-kart footage, but we'll see who's faster. You think you got me beat on the go-karts? Uh, I don't know, how much did you weigh? Uh, I think like 170. What do you got? got? 40 pound advantage on me already. Yeah? You're gonna have to ride with her in your lap. All right. You wanna come, Holly? Might yeah. get me, I don't know. <sighs> yeah. All day, brother. Yeah. All, day. All right, so the first two races, you know, I was just getting acclimated to the carts and everything. Fresh track. Fresh you know, track. I've never been there before. Look at how close our times are. Check this out. Three thousandths of a second difference Dude. on our best lap. Don't you know I'm the fastest YouTuber on a cart number 10 in Tampa, Florida with a Corvette? <laughs> Dude, it wouldn't, it wouldn't focus on the eagle head. <laughs> it was like struggling. It's high. So I think that's going to be it for today's video. Just a nice, chill, lazy afternoon slash day hanging out with Cletus over in Tampa. Where'd you go? Are you hiding? We're just going to hang out and edit our videos. Peace out. LZ, <laughs> Make sure you guys go check out his channel if you want to see some of his rad stuff. We're actually going to go out tonight. Um, Matt the Ginge and a couple of our other friends live out this way, so it's cool. Like, even though we're all like kind of out in Orlando, we're all kind of in the same area for Christmas time, so. We're going to go have some fun. We're going to chug some barrel skates and let it rip till she drips. I was literally going to say that, dude. New catchphrase. Epic, dude. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun. Just chill. Look at this shop. That's a sick shop. I'll do it for now! <laughs> when you